from the High Definition Studios at Fox Charlotte. This is Fox News Rising. Staying on top of the latest high-tech gadgets can be too much for some busy moms. And that's why our digital dude, Reed Sarton, is here. He's keeping us up to date with a cool new way to get those hidden camera shots of the kids. Oftentimes, the kids clam up when they know they have to mm -hmm. take a picture, and they don't smile when you want them to. Yeah, exactly. If the kids think that they're being filmed or, mm -hmm. or uh, taped, they may start acting kind of goofy, crazy, or clam up. Yes. There's a really neat way that you can uh, actually get them caught on camera. It's the U-Quarter camera. I want to show you something though. Take a look at this video that I shot I'm trying to show people what it is. Little camera you have here. <laughs> What's that at the top? It's that blue oh, light. No, look, let me see. There's no light on that. Yeah, what's that? Oh, no, no, no. That's just where the lanyard goes. What's the light? It's got a light on it too. In the back, but not the front. What's that at the top? That's just the, uh, oh, that's the, uh, what do you call it? Lens? Uh, it's quite scary, actually. Ah! Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> now, where did you have this thing mounted? Where was it? I was actually showing it to the people then, and, and one of the things that I thought would be neat to show everybody here, any, uh, any geek worth of salt is going to have a pocket full of pens, pocket oh, full yeah. of all kinds of stuff. I've actually got it in my pocket right here. And I've been recording this segment the entire time. No. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it up on uh, our website. I had no as as idea. It's I that know, tiny. Exactly. It is that tiny. That's one of the neat things about it. It's that tiny. Uh, one thing to be aware of, though, it doesn't have a light on front. And so I get a little bit concerned it might be used for some nefarious purposes <laughs> because of that, not just catching the kids. It does have a light that blinks on the back so that you can tell what you're doing. And that helps in that it doesn't have any type of... Uh, of a uh, uh, monitor on the back so you don't have a little LCD screen so you can see what you're doing. Now we saw the but video, what do you think of the image so you know I thought compared for what, to other cameras? Oh for if you're talking about a camera where you've got a full-sized uh, monitor to take a look at and things it doesn't quite compare with that but you have to judge this based on exactly what it is and it's not quite that same kind of camera. Uh, it has a little bit of an inexpensive feel to it but that doesn't really match with the price. It's hundred and thirty dollars now, for that kind of money, you can get much higher quality video. What you can't get is something that's as easily hideable as this and uh, could snap pictures of the kids or actually get photo of the kids, uh, get video, rather, of the kids without them knowing about it. You could use it as a, uh, as a voice recorder. It has that. Let me show this. I'll turn the light Would on Would you here. say it's pretty it's easy to use, user-friendly for a lot of moms? I think it would be very user friendly for a lot of moms. It takes just a second or two to get used to it. Really, there's a big button in the back. I'll show you that there. Big button in the back. You press that and you're recording. It is a little difficult to tell where you're recording when you look at it because there's no monitor. Mm -hmm. So I kind of use the lanyard hole as a judge by which to where I'm going to put it. The only thing this thing is missing is a tube of lipstick on the other end. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't that be <laughs> great be for moms? Yeah, yeah, it'd be fantastic. Let's go ahead and talk really about neat. the uh, iPad.